This time I'm going to do things a little bit different because the element is already constructed and I'll just step you through it one section at a time. So the initial settings are the speed is 30, pitch and roll are 0, normal is 3.5 G's, lateral is 0, X is 0, Y is 5, and Z is 0. And for all these uh, sections, the orientation is Euler. The first two sections are single force, and the last two are multi-force. So let me turn on uh, the normal and lateral visual fins. So we begin the element at 3.5 G's of normal force, and we want to end the first section with a normal of 0. And so we want to subtract 3.5 G's for this section. And by the way, in case you can't read it, this section is 2.28 seconds long, the first section. And so by subtracting 3.5 G's, we go from 3.5 G's at the beginning to 0. And you can see that indicated here because the fins go to 0. And that's uh, the only change, only transition for that first element, the first section. The next section is probably the easiest of the entire element. It's the top of the hill. It's 2.35 seconds long and there's no transition at all. So this is the 0G part of the, the hill, the floating air time right here. And one thing that you want to do when you're designing these in general, at least typically, to keep a nice symmetric hill, you want to make sure that uh, the height or the Y value at the beginning and end of the section are approximately the same as they are here. So the next section is a little bit more complicated and that's because I've added a twist at the end so let me turn off the visual fins because we don't really need them anymore so this is a multi-zone section four section so you need to switch to that uh, it can, it's comprised of two uh, roll subzones and just a single normal and lateral zone the first roll subzone is 1.19 seconds long and uh, if you look here you'll see that for this subzone there's no change in the roll. And the reason I did this is because at the bottom half of this uh, hill that's when I want to introduce the the turn or the roll. So if we look down the track we see that first part there's no roll but now if we switch to the the second uh, roll subzone, uh, you, you'll see here that I've now introduced a 30 degree roll, and we can see that transition right here. Okay, now let's switch to the normal zone. There's only one, and we go from zero at the top of this section, top of the hill, and I've increased it by 3.59 Gs, and so at the bottom, uh, right here, the normal force is now 3. 5.9 G's. Okay, the last section is a little bit more complicated, but not, not too bad. And it consists of three uh, roll subzones and three lateral subzones, excuse me, normal subzones, and just one lateral. Again, we're not changing the, changing the lateral at all. So let's step through the normal zones first, or subzones first. So the first subzone is 1.7 seconds long, and it goes from 3.59 Gs at the very beginning, right here, at this beginning part of this section, to 0.69 Gs. Uh, so we subtract for this first part uh, 2.9 Gs for the normal transition. And the reason is we want to flatten this out. So if we didn't change that or we didn't or reduce the normal force, it would tend to, to continue upward, which is not something that we want to do. All right, let's go to the second normal subzone. And that comprises uh, more or less the middle part of this element. And this here we maintain the 0.69 Gs throughout this 
uh, part of the element, so the normal transition is zero. And the last uh, subzone for the normal is 1.7 seconds long. And uh, again, we increase the normal by 2.9 Gs, and so it goes from 0.69 from somewhere about right here to 3.59 at, at the bottom of, of this part of the element. And if I didn't say so before, the middle uh, normal zone is 2.83 seconds long. All right, now let's discuss the roll subzones. The first one is 1.37 seconds long, and it goes from 30 degrees at the bottom of the hill to about right here, uh, which is zero degrees roll. And so we subtract 30 degrees for this part of the transition, for, for this part of the element section. And the second, the middle roll subzone is where the magic happens. And here, so this is going f starting from about right here in this section. And here I've set the roll amount to 135 degrees. Uh, but this is a little bit different because if, if you see here, as indicated here, the roll at the beginning part of this subzone is zero degrees. Again, that's about right here. We also end it zero degrees, which is about right here. And so what what's happening here is I've switched to a bump transition. So what's going on is that the transition is going from zero degrees to a plus uh, 135 degrees right about here. And then it's going back to zero by subtracting another 135 degrees. That's why it's a bump transition and not just a, a regular transition. So this middle section is uh, 3.56 seconds long. And the, the first uh, roll subzone is 1.37 seconds long. And then the last roll subsection or subzone is 1.3 seconds long, and there's no change in the roll value, so it continues to be zero. So that's the the recipe for this uh, combination of elements. And in order to save it, again, I've discussed this before, but just to make it perfectly clear, I almost always use track smoothing with a level of five and a taper of seven, so when you save it, then it will help smooth out some of the transitions. So now let's write it in the simulator to see what it looks like.